After setting up the simulation, checking the material fits, and making sure that there is enough memory available to run the simulation, you can click the Run button in the Simulation Toolbar to run the simulation. The Job Manager window will appear. Under the Engine column, the name of the resource being used to run the simulation is listed. More information about how to configure the computational resources used to run the simulation can be found in the related links section below. The simulation status shows what stage of the simulation is being performed. The stages are initialization, meshing, running, and saving. You can also right-click on the job to pause the simulation, and the status will show paused. If there's an error encountered while running the simulation, the status will show engine error. And you can right-click to view the job details for information on debugging the problem. The project file column shows the path of the simulation file being run. The maximum time remaining gives an estimated time to complete the running stage of the simulation based on the simulation time set up in the FDTD simulation region object. The auto shutoff level reports an estimation of the fraction of energy remaining in the simulation volume compared to the energy injected by the source. By default, the simulation will automatically end once this drops below the early shutoff threshold. The progress column shows a progress bar for the running stage of the simulation and percent of the simulation time that has been simulated. 100% indicates the maximum simulation time, so the simulation may end before reaching 100% if the early shutoff feature is used. At the bottom of the window, there's a total progress bar, which shows the overall progress of all of the simulations listed in the job manager. For example, you might be running multiple simulations at once for a parameter sweep. Buttons are available to quit and save, quit and don't save, or force quit. Quit and save will stop the simulation and save the data obtained up to that point. Quit and don't save stops the simulation and does not save any data. Force quit kills the simulation and doesn't save any data. This option is not recommended since it may not properly release the license, so some time needs to elapse for the license to be released before another job can be run using that license. It should only be used if the quit and save and quit and don't save options aren't working properly.